Now to a breaking news update. Some answers and outrage in the wake of that deadly mass stabbing in Rockford. The man charged with those murders just appeared in court. Our Sabrina Franza joins us live from Rockford. And Sabrina, you spoke with a key witness. Hi, Marie, we did, and he recounted the details of that harrowing scene as he tried to distract that suspect from injuring his granddaughter, who was inside the house at the time, and from injuring the letter carrier that he had known for years, who was outside the home. Then he called 911. And then that's when the cops started coming, and he left. And you're watching all this from a few feet away? Yeah. Craig Gar has lived in the same home for 45 years. You know, this is bad. This is the worst thing I ever saw living here. He witnessed who police say was 22 year old Christian Ivan Soto stabbing his mail carrier, 49 year old Jay Larson. Then prosecutors say Soto ran Larson over with a pickup truck. His body was about right in the middle of the tire tracks. Larson was one of four people police say Soto murdered on Wednesday. We're told he went to his longtime friend's home, the home of 23-year-old Jacob Shuba, to smoke marijuana. Soto later claimed the weed was laced with an unknown narcotic, and he recounted some details of the stabbings. His first two victims, his friend, Jacob Shuba, and 63-year-old Ramona Shuba. He then fatally stabbed Jay Larson, the letter carrier, and continued breaking into multiple homes where prosecutors say he attacked three teenage girls with a bat, killing one of them, 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb. Jenna's mom wants the community to know that Jenna died saving her sister and her friend. Soto was taken into custody after he stabbed his final two victims. Several others were injured. One a good Samaritan who was trying to help another a first responder. Seven in all during this stabbing rampage. More than ever, the people who are most impacted by this horrific event need to see our community linking arms. Prosecutors say the people of Rockford, these families, might not ever know the motive behind any of this. Soto appeared in court briefly today, charged with four counts of first-degree murder, among other charges. He's being held without bond. We're live in Rockford. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sabrina.